You know, the um, guy who was given a beaucoup number of um, eulogies at the toughest, and I, I learned self-taught, you never want to look. <coughs> uh, family members or close personal friends in the eye, because that's when it starts to kick in. Uh, normally I train, train. I try to help young guys who are given their first one look at an empty chair, look at a picture on the wall, just don't, don't catch their eye. And here I'm going from eyeball to eyeball. <laughs> I, uh, sorry. Anyway, this is a tough one. Um, I'm in treatment now. I will continue in treatment until my oncologist says I'm free to go. Uh, down at Carmanis, as uh, some of you know. I went on my family to be here for this. Um, once in a lifetime announcement. Um, we got the release, so nothing to do with my, well, it does have something to do with my health. Um, but I've been, yeah, how do I, I planned on starting this with saying, Alex Trebek has nothing on me. <laughs> he was diagnosed on the 13th, I was diagnosed on the 15th of March with uh, pancreatic cancer, stage four. So to the extent that that release said, uh, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna pass and make an announcement about his career. <laughs> It is really a career-ending kind of a decision. I, uh, and after my accident, I thought, hell, I had a free run to 90 at least. That was very debilitating. Awesome. This is one time when you can really beat it. There's an 11% chance that we who have it walk away. And I intend to be part of that 11%. Hopefully, that's my reputation. I'm strong enough and committed enough to, to go into the fight and, and want to finish it. Um, really not much more I, I can say. Um, my family, obviously, is standing by me big time. And uh, I'm going to get out of town. It's the hardest thing for me to do on the 6th of April. I'm not even going to tell you where I'm going so you won't bug me. <laughs> <laughs>